Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our derivative collection example on how to find the derivative of the natural logarithm of e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get started. <coughs> so we're going to title it our solution. So we have this function uh, y equals the natural logarithm of e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decompose this function into its um, components. All right. How do we know to decompose? Well, we have a composite function here. We have the natural logarithmic function being composed with the quotient of two exponential functions like that okay so let's decompose the function and then um, we're going to be applying the chain rule now the outer function is the natural logarithmic function so we're going to call that um, f so f of x the outer function is the natural logarithm of x and then the inner function e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1 we'll call that g of x okay so g of x equals um, e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1 okay alright so we're going to be applying um, the chain rule here so what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate both uh, functions. We have the derivative of f, f prime of x. Remember the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And then we're now going to differentiate uh, g of x. So g prime of x is going to be e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1 prime. So we need to find the derivative of this quotient of functions. All right, so here we are. We're going to have uh, to use the quotient rule. So u over v prime is what we're going to be using. So u over v prime is basically v u prime minus u v prime divided by v square. Okay. Uh, some other formulas you want to keep in mind for this problem solving process we already applied the first one which is that um, the derivative of ln x is uh, 1 over x and then the derivative of a composite function f of g of x is basically the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner times the derivative of the inner function all right, and then we're using the um, uh, quotient rule here, and then you also have to remember the derivative of e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the uh, quotient rule. So I'm going to break it down into steps. U is the numerator, v is the denominator. Okay, so let's just indicate that this is u right here, and that's v. So let's do VU prime. VU prime is given by um, V e to the 2x minus 1. So that's V. U prime is going to be the derivative of the numerator. So that's e to the 2x. We can go ahead and differentiate that. Now, when we're differentiating the numerator e to the 2x, um, we're going to apply the chain rule again because it's a composite function. So the derivative of e to the 2x is going to be e to the 2x, the derivative of the outer evaluated at the inner, which is 2x, times the derivative of the inner, which is 2. The inner function is 2x, okay? minus v uh, u which is e to the 2x v prime is a derivative of e to the 2x minus 1 
The derivative of e to the 2x minus 1, we can carry out term by term differentiation. The derivative of e to the 2x, we already done it, it's e to the 2x times 2, so we just write it here, e to the 2x times 2 times the uh, minus the derivative of 1 which is just 0 using the constant rule for differentiation okay and all that will be divided by v square which is e to the 2x minus 1 quantity square we are still looking for g prime of x so that we can apply the chain rule to the entire problem okay so let's go ahead and simplify still looking for um, g prime of x and that's given by uh, now if you take a look at this uh, what we have here um, we can factor out e to the 2x and we can also factor out 2 and we'll be left with e to the 2x minus 1 minus um, e to the 2x alright so let's go ahead and factor those out if we factor those out we're going to have um, 2 e to the 2x on the outside and then left on the inside, it will be e to the 2x minus 1 minus e to the 2x. And that will be divided by um, v square, which is still e to the 2x minus 1 quantity square. Now, if you take a look at the quantity in the parentheses, you know, e to the 2x and e to the 2x, both of them uh, add up to 0, so they take each other out. And then we will now have um, g prime of x. g prime of x is going to be, let's see, g prime of x is going to be minus 1 times 2 to the, 2e two to the 2x is negative 2e to the 2x that divided by the denominator which is um, e to the 2x minus 1 quantity square okay so now we're going to apply the chain rule we have it written here so all you do is you compose the derivative of the outer function with the inner function g of x so g of x basically gets plugged into this x right here and then we're going to multiply that composite function with g prime of x and that will be y prime okay all right let's go ahead and do it so we have y prime y prime equals 1 over x so instead of x I'm gonna put in g of x which is e to the 2x over e to the 2x minus 1 so let me color code it so you can see what's what's going on. So instead of x, we're going to put in uh, g, g of x, which is e to the 2x over e to the 2x minus 1. And then uh, that was a composite function of f prime and g. And then we'll multiply that with um, g prime of x, which is negative 2 e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1 square okay now to simplify this uh, we have y prime now 1 over e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x minus 1 is just a reciprocal or you can drop change flip multiply 1 by the reciprocal of this rational uh, function here and then you're gonna have e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x that's a consequence of reciprocation all right times negative 2e to the 2x that divided by um, let's break this down separate it e to the 2x minus 1 times e to the 2x minus 1 now we're going to proceed to reduce e to the 2x goes here once e to the 2x goes here once and then e to the 2x goes here once and e to the 2x goes here once and that gives us our final answer y prime is equal to negative 2 over e to the 2x minus 1 
that ladies and gentlemen is the final result thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation if the contents of this tutorial helped you in your studies of um, differentiation applying the chain rule uh, do give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this differentiation collection if you have any questions or comments just place it in the comment section below and um, we'll be more than glad to um, support you a wide variety of support resources and the entire collection um, can be found at mathgotserve.com you might want to check it out thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye